welcome to another video today i have with me the zte blade a320 and i am going to show you guys how to bypass google frp lock on this device so now this is very simple i've already wiped the device and um now my brightness isn't too um, sharp on the phone now i'm unable to access it um but i'm going to show you where actually the issue is coming from and um, so let me just connect to my wi-fi network here real quick so you can see this screen here now you are on this screen now most of the time you won't be able to get past this because you don't know your google account so this is why i am here to show you guys how to bypass the frp lock protection so now um you can just press and hold your home button because we need to go on to the google app to access our web browser so um, don't sign in because it will just take you back to the setup screen so just search for chrome and uh, you will see it down here now we're going to download apex launcher 3.3.3 and um, we're going to set it as our launcher because we need to access our launcher screen for now because we don't want to always repeat the process of going on to the google app and searching for whatever apps that we need to access so you're going to download apex 3.3.3 so i'm going to select the first one from up to down download so uh, you can select this one so just select download okay and allow the permission to download onto the phone so you you will not see the download notification up there because right now you are restricted access to most of the different functionalities so i'm going to install it right away so go to settings and you need to um turn off unknown sources uh turn this on sorry and um, now we're going to press this button again and go to file manager allow access and go to downloads and find the file over here and install now apex launcher is installed we're going to open you can see immediately that we are on the home screen now we're going back over to settings and go to security and device administrators and turn off android device manager this deactivate it okay cool and um, you, you notice the home button so you'll have to keep pressing back until you can go back onto your home screen now for the next step we're going to connect our phone to the computer so you can see here i have a few files on my computer so you're going to need these two files downloaded i will put the links in the description so now i'm going to connect the phone to the pc okay so i have the phone connected and we're now going to install the qualcomm usb driver so you have a 32 bit and 64 bit so depending on your system so in my case it's a 64 bit so i'm going to install 64 bit so depending on how you want to get connected to the internet so if you're using your one or ethernet now in my case i'm using ethernet so you're going to choose ethernet and you're going to click next and next again and accept the agreement and install so i have successfully installed the qualcomm usb drivers so now you are going to restart your PC and then afterwards we will continue. Now that I have rebooted my PC, we are going to open now this all-in-one tool um, that I downloaded. And um, like I said guys, the links for all those files will be in the description. So you are just going to open it here. open the exe file so it's just taking some time okay so the program has now finished loading we're going to connect our phone to our pc by a usb and a list of options will show up so now we're going to click on here we're going to click on connect to pc software
and you're going to allow USB debugging. So select always, that's what I selected, and click OK. And now we're going to click on Bypass ADB tool, and the device information should show up, show off up here. If it doesn't show up, then that means there's an issue, and you should review your ADB. Um, that the option to allow the USB debugging has showed up and if it does then you must allow it if you don't then you won't see this up here so now you're going to select to remove FRP so just allow it some time here to load and you can see now that it is done so now let's review the device just to ensure that this indeed really worked so if I press the home button you notice now that it, it went home and so on so now you can see here that we have successfully bypassed FRP so now one more thing let's go over to settings and to try setting up a Google account so let's go to accounts add account Google and you can see that you can now sign into your Google account so thank you very much for watching and um, if you like the video hit that thumbs up share it with others and remember to subscribe to post productions tech